Hey there, bud. So I've got my animation component and I've got it hooked up to a null and I'm just gonna edit the animation and I'm just gonna make a new channel called Chan1. Okay, so there's my Chan1 and it appears here as well. And then I believe I need to alt click. Yeah, that's correct. So alt click and then I find like a lot of times, okay, I'm middle, I'm middle click, hold down and drag to scale there, left click and drag to move. So I'm just gonna frame this. And I've, I need to move this to like maybe like one exactly. Um, and then like if you want it to stay at one, just set it to one. Another thing that you need a lot of times is more size. Um, so you have to, so now my composition is 6,000 frames long before it jumps back to the start. Um, but, but that's too long for this example, so I'll take it back down. Okay, and so then um, I think I'll export this to like maybe here. And see like when this comes around and the animation starts, it starts to zoom this. Um, and that can be a cool like transition effect, but um, how can we control the start and stop and play of this timeline? So most of the time what I want to do is change this to use input index. Um, and then I'll use your friend the speed. Um, to control that at 60 frames, to scrub this at 60 frames per second. I believe this is, yeah, that's the input index there. Um, and then you can just control the speed the way you normally do to jump back to the start there. Um, you would probably end up controlling that with a button. So now you can, oh, momentary. You can make other buttons, you know, for, for pausing or for moving to a certain range and stuff like that, because you're just, just controlling the index manually at this point. And I hope that can help you out, bud.